Welcome back to TFS Plays Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. I'm Lampent Bator. I'm Volcuranian. I'm Go Grant. And we're going to, to continue grinding. Woo! So we talked about milk and MST3K. I'm just gonna put a big carton of milk and <laughs> chewing tobacco and Rod Serling on the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Just the, just the mini topics yeah. we cover here. They were just gonna be like, what the What hell? the fuck happened this episode? <laughs> yeah. I, I tweeted out earlier this week, like, give me topics to talk about. None of those were anything people sent me. People keep sending me stuff like, talk about recent movies, or like, what's a video game you think would make a good anime? And I'm like, these are all boring topics. Like, I want I want something real, man. Something, no, there was something you no. get an insight Tell on. Tell me one that you told me this morning. Okay, uh, so there was one. Uh, so... If you were a serial killer, what would your method be? Like, Ooh, what would you, yeah, like, like, I like this like, one. Like, what kind of serial killer would you end up being? See, I don't want this to incriminate me in the future, but I'm okay. <laughs> right, no, like, this this kind of protects our future victims, because someone somewhere will be like, hold on, they're killing them in this exact way? Well, you, oh, got, you gotta be... Better worth causing copycats. Yeah, Without you even... gotta be a little careful, because if we do cause a copycat, point to this video, but, oh no! <laughs> and if they somehow find a way to get our DNA, oh jeez! Uh -oh. All right, so uh -oh. gonna, they already got you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop handing my DNA. Yeah, no, out. they got me. <laughs> I gotta stop handing my DNA out at the bus stop. <laughs> I don't even need a bus. I'm just, just, <laughs> just over there by the bus stop, just going. It'll be worth something someday, I swear. Come on, take my hair. Take I'll it. give you some fingerprints on tape. Come on. Don't I ask where I got meant, this. I thought you meant you were doing something else on the bus. No, uh, don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, I came up with this actually with our friend Lily. We came up with like, what was the best job to to have to be a serial killer? Okay. And we determined garbage man. Well, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, I was like, actually thinking the, waste disposal. Yeah, yeah anything seems... in waste disposal, you are, like, perfect. Because you can, like, there's a lot of, like, neighborhoods you can go... I sound like I'm gonna murder somebody. <laughs> I was gonna say, so are you, so what are you, the, the garbage strangler? <laughs> is this why you tend... Is this why you the trash tenured your resignation? <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what I would, like... The thing I would love to do, okay... It's the landfill maniac. <laughs> I, okay... We're about to get a little weird all right, here. Alright, alright, so, okay, so before before you go on, yeah. you have to have your <laughs> your method yeah. and what the newspapers would call you. Yeah, you're what, and, what, yeah. Would, what would your serial killer title be? Okay. Bo bonus would be calling card. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I already have my, my calling card. Alright, if you can make your name off of your calling card or something, yeah. or something along those lines, then by all means. I can already tell you. Okay, so you, you guys know the movie The Number 23 starring Jim Carrey? Yeah, I've heard of it, but not watched it. Alright, so... The whole premise of that movie is that the number 23 is everywhere and it's bad. Okay. Okay. So I would just carve 23 into every victim I had. All and right. I would make sure that it always happened at 11 o'clock at 11.23 if possible. Okay, so 23.23? 23, 23. Yeah, 23.23. I would make every single thing point to the number 23. So... I would see these murders springing up, uh -huh. and part of my mind would be like, "Are they rebooting the movie 23?" And like, this is just like <laughs> this a really, a, a really bad viral marketing, like a really tasteless viral marketing. <laughs> <laughs> these actual murders that are happening, and then I would, I don't know what they would call me, but I want to have like you know the Latin name for 23, like the duo des, <laughs> the duo deca. I'm fairly positive that's not what it is. But Probably not. Deck deca duo deca. No, duo deca is 20. I think the little girl up there is the only one who's jumping. I don't know what it is. There she is. But yeah, but, but regardless, uh, in that movie, he also he works as a um, he works as a uh, fuck. What is it? Pet animal control. Animal control. He works okay. As animal okay. control. Um, I would work. I would just work as a garbage man, patrolling neighborhoods, and then seeing whichever one like I could become friendly with. Oh, like, yeah. I'm a real personable guy. Hey, it's me, your buddy. It's me, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your favorite, Tom. <laughs> Tom the garbage man. Tom the garbage man. Everybody loves him. He drives truck number twenty three yeah. around all the time, just whenever he's not supposed to. And weird. Everyone there. who's died was someone on his route. <laughs> All right, I would uh, go in order. I would kill people in the way that Jason Voorhees killed people, or his mother, okay. in the Friday the 13th series. I'd skip five, because nobody liked five. No, we didn't. And I would only kill one person every Friday the 13th. 
And Ooh, eventually yeah. people would start, start calling it the up. Friday the 13th Killer, and then people would start correcting it to Jason he's, Voorhees. He's, <laughs> I like that too, okay. I also, yeah, can we include weapon of choice? Sure. Yeah, because I, I didn't specify a weapon. I said I would carve 23 in there, but I'm doing it. With, I'm going to be with doing it. With little shaped in twos and threes. No, no. I'm going to be doing it with a spoon. Ooh, all right. Ooh, like that, like the, uh, that one video. Like that, that one short? Yeah. yeah Kill me with a spoon. <laughs> like super slowly, just repeated taps with a spoon. I would, uh... I would stalk the streets and have, like, I would pick up manhole covers and, like, just Ooh. slowly press people to death with them. And okay. I would be called the pressure plate. <laughs> <laughs> you already got a super villain name, there you damn go. it. <laughs> I don't know how I'd pick my victims. I, don't, I haven't quite considered how that would work yet, but I'm sure I would find a method. I'd be Whoever like, I I'd be like mm, that, man, that man needs a good press. Like, and just go to town. If I had an alternate, there, this is my favorite, like, death in a movie type okay. thing. Basically, you have a room full of, like, open manholes. All right. And you have a manhole cover placed around a man's neck. Ooh, Like okay. a little hole in the middle oh, of there. Oh, okay. And you chase him around in a car with a chainsaw or something. Oh. And he has to run. And if he falls, his neck's broken. Oh. And if it's not broken, <laughs> you're going to get him run over. <laughs> Or cut in half. Oh my god. Yeah. What's that from? Uh, Hobo with a shotgun. Oh, I never saw that. I wanted to. I was gonna say, this seems like a Saw esque trap. No, that is too. That is. I mean, Saw is elaborate, but they don't involve, like, two people playing a game like that. Yeah, you're right. That dude didn't have, like, a key lodged behind his eye or something. Yeah, come on. You gotta have something. But Hobo with a shotgun was stupid, campy fun. I love stuff like that. But yeah, the the serial killer thing that was there, there was another one, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. But I want to find who who said the serial killer thing so I can just give, give credit. Give proper give credit. cred. Where so credit is due. If you have more details about your serial killings, feel free to stretch for a second. I mean, like, ooh, maybe I, maybe I can make it like a game. Like I'd fill yeah, that room with continue. like there'd be there'd be ten holes on the ground, and there'd be eleven people. Ah, okay. And there could be only one survivor, so people had to like shove each other to get yeah, them into yeah, the holes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because it would start off democratically. They'd be like, "No, I'm not gonna do that." And as the time wore on, it's like, "You're look, you're not getting out of here until eleven of you are in those holes." Real quick, let me say I love movies like that that are just one scene, and there's like clearly going to be probably just one survivor. I love those kind oh, of movies. Oh, like your one location, the whole yeah. movie. Yeah, there was a. There's actually a movie. Uh, I forget what it's called, like the game or something like that, where these guys are standing on this weird roulette wheel. Oh, do you mean Circle? Yes. Yeah, Circle yeah. was cool. Yeah, I disagree. It was, it, it was, but <laughs> no, I thought <laughs> I thought it was kind of boring and mundane. I I thought I thought it was interesting. I thought like you know ultimately the the ending was really like whatever. I mean I'm I'm glad. Yeah, the ending was like oh it was aliens the whole time and they did but this you know for. What? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, they never specify. I'm, o I'm okay with not getting an answer. It's just that after all that, and it's just like... I, I guess the nothing ending was kind of cool where that guy was just kind of like, I don't know. But still, nothing paid off in that movie. But I, I like... there, there was a bit of a payoff with the uh, the, the way the person wins the game, I guess. I, I saw that coming, like, I saw it coming. So I saw it away. coming, too, but I could see how my... I, I could see how some people wouldn't see it coming. Yeah. Is the thing. The problem is, like... I've been seeing, I, I've seen so many movies that, like, seen so many movies, read enough books, and seen enough television shows that I can see a oh, lot of yeah, twists yeah, coming yeah, you from can pick up on where plots are like going way further away than a lot of other people. I think I made comment about this yeah, before, like you, when we saw did. Civil War. Yes, you yeah. did, and I, I actually have something to say about that. But real quick, did you find the first? Yes, I credit? did. Uh, we have Lucy Gocher or. At Goach Rider, Goach is G O A C H, uh, pitched in that one. Nice. Thanks, Lucy. Th so. Thank you so much. Now, now, just uh, refer to this video for never. <laughs> 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 but uh, as, as for the um, like, so I like as an English major, I like you know say a lot of the elements of you know how works of fiction are composed. The basic you know every type you can think of of telling a story. I know like the ins and outs of how they all pretty much work. Whenever I watch a movie, I can turn that off. Like, I just immediately turn my brain off and I go, all right, just, let's, let's just get go. sucked in. I respect that. I, I kind of wish I could do that sometimes, because 
I'd love for things to surprise me, but I'm way, like, my brain, no matter what I'm doing, is always very good at noticing, oh, that's gonna be important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, like, I, if I'm watching a movie with the knowledge that it is poor, that will come out. If I'm watching a movie with the hope that it's great, I am 100% enthralled, like, take me away. Like, that, that reveal at the end, it's, I mean, barely a reveal at the end of Civil War, I was like, no. No, 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 <laughs> And I, like, I was like, of course you can see it planted. Like, there's no reason you, it wouldn't be that. They but. showed that scene way too many times yeah. beforehand for that not to be a thing. Exactly. Yeah. But I was just, I was so lost in the spectacle and fun that I was just like, no. You're like, <gasps> How could that be the twist? Yeah, no, see, like, listening to people react around me to that, I'm just like, <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> Really? <laughs> d d was this not obvious? <laughs> yeah. That's all when you feel like the smartest person in the room. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Well, hey, there you go. We talked about a modern movie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We did it. Got it. <laughs> a modern movie which you both liked, even though, like, it, it's, it's a comic book movie, so, you know, it's... It's a blockbuster. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not, it's not like it's, it's a not fine like it's going, piece of yeah, film. I was gonna say, that being said, it's a very well-made blockbuster yeah, movie. Yeah, oh yeah. And I think it's, um, there's something interesting. I can't remember what his, uh, his name, but the, the executive of... Fuck. I can't remember what the, the picture... It's a fun who, company. The, yeah, the executive of Fuck. The yeah. Transformers film company. Who put those out? Hasbro. Not Hasbro. Paramount. Paramount. I feel like it was uh, in an interview. Um, I want to say he said that the reason he picked Michael Bay to do them and why he why he enjoyed them and he signed off when he heard what Bay did with it is he was like, I have the mind of an average movie go. And I enjoy seeing like I can just I when just I just love see seeing movie, stuff blow up. I just love seeing shit blow up and I don't pretend to be any smarter than that. <laughs> and I'm like, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's okay. And I'm like, cause if you're running a movie fucking movie studio and that's your taste he was like I picked something like I have no vision case. or grand artistic statement to make no I just want to see this shit go down yeah my whole like, damn my, my whole thought was like they gave Michael Bay GI or they gave Michael Bay Transformers they gave Michael Bay Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wrong but they oh, I thought I thought he was part of that oh no 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 I, I mean he I think he was a part of that then he got pulled back and then back on or something I think, well he was de he, he's he was definitely part of that, part of that. Point, yeah but I uh, why didn't they ever give him G.I. Joe? That Like, he fucking masturbates to the American military. <laughs> Why not give him the one thing where you can just be nothing but military and nothing but American military go time? That said, I love the G.I. Joe movie. I thought the first one was alright, the, the second, second one. one is awful. And that makes uh, me really sad. Because I saw the second one. I really like the first one. I think we watched it yeah, for the first time yeah. together and I was like... You're like, the G.I. Joe movies, back when Netflix, Netflix heyday, and they were just pulling whatever they could. Yeah, back when Netflix was like, only bad movies. I yeah. thought, I thought, G, I thought the first G.I. Joe was alright. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. Right. And then we saw it, and I was like, that was actually really good. It's a very middle-of-the-road blockbuster. It's better than you think it's going to be, yeah. that's yeah, the way I can say That's what I was blown away by, I was like, especially the stuff with Snake Eyes and, um, and, uh... No, uh Ray Park is always good. Just yeah. give him a... Any ninja-y, yeah. acrobatic dude, he'll do it. Ray Park's fantastic. And he's a great, like, he's a nice guy. I met him. Nice. He's a good guy. That's right, he was, he was, uh, he was at the, uh, game store, right? Yeah, he was at Madness. That's like, awesome. he, he, him and Peter Mayhew at the same time. That's so cool. So I had to get the, uh, autograph of, you know, Chewie and Darth Maul. Like, I just, no, can't, of course. I can't not. <laughs> Has to be done. I mean, what do I look like? Some guy that doesn't like Star Wars? Yeah, come on! Yeah, the fact that, like, the second G.I. Joe movie, it's like, look, we need bigger star power. Let's kill off Duke. <laughs> Let's kill Channing Tatum off in the first act. Really? Well, I don't think he died, but he's, but, like, but, definitely but he's gone. Out, like, that is dumb. No, we need The Rock. I mean, I was excited. I was like, oh, no, The Rock and G.I. Cool. Joe? The Rock's yeah, here, but why'd great. you have to get rid of Channing Tatum? Channing Tatum's he was, fun. He was good. He was fun. Uh, I thought he was okay in G.I. Joe. I mean, he was just getting his acting chops. Yeah. And he's charming. Speaking he of, is. Speaking of things you like. All okay. Right, so this is, a, this is a topic that I always find interesting. My parents have a shitload of tattoos. Okay. Is there anything that you would want to get a tattoo of? If so, what and where? I'm way too fucking hairy. Uh, <laughs> if, if I got a tattoo, it might be... 
Always hesitate. <laughs> I, it might. It, it would probably be the company logo, and I'd probably get it on my calf. That's that's the easiest place to do it, honestly. Yeah, yeah I, ca I can't think of anything else that's like important enough to me that I need it on my body yeah. at all times. You know? Because my like, my dad has like this leg sleeve of just Star Wars stuff, and it's crazy. See, I could do something like that, but it's just like I don't want to put that kind of money into it. Oh, he well. He knows a lot of people. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> he, he, he no. I, one guy was your like, dad was in a metal band, right? And yeah, he, like, he knows knows the people. He like knows he knows the guys the that knows people. the guys. The yeah. He's he is two degrees separated from anybody metal related. Basically. Yeah, no, you've gotten us into just a bunch of shows for free just exactly. because your dad knows people. Yeah. Um, but uh, he got he his tattoo artist was like, I want to have a Darth Maul for my portfolio. I know you want a Vader, but can I do a Maul first on your leg? He was like, Sure. <laughs> So he just got it for free. He has a sick ass Darth Maul tattoo. It's awesome. It's just like it's him like turning with the cloak and like it's like half covering his face and the other half of it has like Vader turning like at the other side. It looks really cool. Yeah, the only other thing I, I like worry about doing tattoos is because I see these horror stories online with these absolutely god awful tattoos that oh, people yeah. have. It's just like I wouldn't know the first thing about who to trust. That is true, because my my uh I don't, I don't know if he watches this, my cousin. <laughs> Has some god awful tattoos. <laughs> I think he knows it and just doesn't want to say it. Just can't. Maybe he doesn't know it, but, but now you but do. Now, but you know what? Maybe getting the Decepticon logo asymmetrical on your nipple was a bad idea. Oh. That sounds. Is the Autobot on the other one? No. What's on the other one? Nothing? And, uh, yeah. like uh, a weird angel looking thing? Your family loves ink. <laughs> <laughs> he's. he's he was on the adopted side of the family. Oh, okay. Yeah. To say that. <laughs> like, tattoos can look good on some people. They can no, look they like, can. really they can. good on some people. I'm the kind of guy where I feel like I could look good with tattoos, but I've always been, like, I've always been so clean, you know what I mean? I just, I feel like it no, that's would kind change of... my image at this point. I think I just have a, like, an issue with commitment. Like, I freak out going in for a haircut because I'm like, I'm going to have to live with this. Like, whatever happens, like, I'm stuck with this. A tattoo is, like, so beyond anything I feel like I am capable of doing, like, to myself as, like, an appearance thing. Okay, but to answer the question, if and where. If and where. I feel like shoulder tats are fine. Shoulder tats, like, sh good. Shoulders are okay. Uh, and it would, what would it be? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm having trouble, like, figuring out. Like... Like, would it be something Pokemon related? Like, like that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, could you get, like, yeah. a kick-ass Pokemon yeah. sleeve with the original like, 150 going down? Yeah. Maybe I just get, like, a big old Fero on my bicep, like, just hanging out, like, just being there and flapping. The, the, <laughs> here's another style of tattoo that I really, really like. I saw this online once, and it's a guy that has, like, a, like, he oh, has, like, the blue, talking, yeah. the blue wristband around his yep. arm. And then, like, further Goku, down the arm, it just, it's punching. just Goku. Yeah. yeah. And throwing a punch. Yeah, so yeah. It it's looks like great. Yeah. So if I had to do one, maybe, like, just get my entire hand red and just Saitama's glove. There you go. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> That I don't know. Is so cool and painful as hell, by the way. Yeah, yeah. getting the cuticles and all no, that. Not oh, fun. Yeah, not fun. I'd probably just wear a red, red glove, glove forever yeah. instead. I'd probably be like dumb as hell and get like your ad here or something. Like just something <laughs> stupid. Who wants to buy ad space on my body? <laughs> yeah. I am the living billboard. Oh no, my greatest villain. <laughs> um, I, I've thought about this for a uh, for a while because I've always wondered like what I would do if I if I did get one. Gohan walking forward, shooting the Kamehameha, has always been such a big... With the one arm? With the one yeah. arm, has always been such a big, like, moment in my life that, like, I always refer to that. I don't know, it's just, like, a struggling through adversity and, like, keep going. Yeah, it was like... What, your... if, what if you, uh, got that, only it was oh, on, the, the, on the arm yeah. sleeve, <laughs> and it's just, like, his other arm dangling to his side, and then you just do the pose. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. And that's yeah. how you, like, that's how you feel powerful. What if you've yeah. got a full body tattoo that is his outfit and, like, tattoo... <laughs> like, and your... <laughs> what you if shave, you... What shave if your head. Got, what if I just got a tattoo of me, <laughs> yeah. but taller <laughs> on my entire body? <laughs> That's, yeah, that's what I'm getting in a tattoo of my Could you get body. so many tattoos that you up a shirt size? <laughs> <laughs> I got so much ink, man. I got layers. I got onions. That or your body just swelled because it was this disgusting <laughs> infection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta, you're just gonna drown yourself in the cream. And just, <laughs> <laughs> 
That's how this X-Man got his mutant power. <laughs> Too many needles. I'm sure we're probably going to get a couple of hits on Twitter just saying, like, hey, I'm a tattoo artist. I totally do that for you. Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> just be like, aww. Because, like, I do, like, my parents have so many tattoos. They have a, they have a, both have a tattoo of um, my sister and my uh, and my name in Japanese, like, on, their, on the aww. back of their shoulders. And yeah, that's the only other thing I was thinking of. If not, like, you know, if not my metaphysical family on my thigh, it would be, like, my literal family. Like, <laughs> yeah. If and when I have children, and you know, I just get like names somewhere. But I feel like names are a little. It would, ha it would have. To, it would it's have to be. It would have to be. Yeah, it would have to be in a different language. I know that, that's why there are maybe like... this. Maybe the uh, Star Wars universe language. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. There. I think that'd be that'd be a fun because like my dad's such like huge into Japanese stuff, so he just kind of combined those two, and that's how he does his tattoos. It is an actual alphabet, so. It is, oh, is it, it is technically can convert. It is technically readable, readable, Re readable. Red, readable. I guess whatever. Presented it's on. technically a Red Bull. Presented on Reddit. <laughs> Gives you wings. <laughs> it, it's uh, actually uh, at uh, Hollywood Studios. You can get uh, you know name plates and stuff with like your name and the language and stuff like that. Oh really? <clears throat> yeah. That's super cool. God, they have like a really cool fucking Star Wars store, and I bought a stormtrooper helmet and a Kylo Ren lightsaber. So. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I almost bought a uh, an, an entire Han Solo outfit, but they only sell it, you know, in sizes. They don't custom fit it, and I'm like, look, if I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna get it custom fit. Yeah. yeah. Cause I have, like everybody, my body proportions aren't the same. So <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. It's like, look, I'm gonna need an XL. Uh, I'd need an XL from their size chart, but all of those parts are like way taller. Oh, it's like, okay. well, they expect you if you're getting an XL to be like six three yeah. or something like yeah, that, and I'm like, that's a stocky well, build, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm built like, I'm built like you know, a mid 1950s wrestler. <laughs> All right. I yes. got, I got a, I got a little bit yes. of, I got a bit of meat on me, and I have a little bit of a gut. Yes, actually, I see that a hundred percent. Like I would be, I'd be in there wrestling Bob Backlund, basically. <laughs> yeah. I just see if to see you in the ring though, I think you'd have to be blonde. Maybe. You'd have to be blonde yeah. for that for that era. I felt like everybody was blonde. Ric Flair, Bob Backley. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Blondie Couture, I can't even think of that. Oh uh, man, I, I like I like even when the frosted tips were in fashion, I never did it because I, I always did thought frosted I was, tips. Oh, me I too. I, totally, I know you did. I totally frosted I've seen my that tips. picture. <laughs> I, totally I, did that. I don't know. I've, I've always been very much, I don't care what everybody else is doing. I'm going to do what I find comfortable and what I think looks good. Uh -huh. See, I, I genuinely thought frosted tips looked pretty bad when I was, really like, cool. in the yeah. eighth grade. So, like, I always looked at it as, like, that's a boy band thing. I, I don't dig it. It's not, like... It also, cool. it also guarantees why I didn't have many dates in high school, I it's, guess. It's I... weird, because I've, like, totally switched on the spectrum of, like, how I dress and stuff. Like, in junior high, I was like, I've got, like, Aeropostel and oh, Abercrombie man. and Fitch. Like, oh, I am all over that all shit. That, like, that, I was that guy, Frosted Tips. You would not have been friends, and I was saying. But, but no, but I was totally into nerd stuff. But, like, looking at me, I was like, I can't look like that. Like, I, I have to, like, if I talk to people, sure, like, I'm gonna go up to my friends and be like, did you see the new Dragon Ball Z? Oh my god, Kid Boo's so fucking cool. And then, like, but I'm doing this while wearing an American Eagle, like, jacket or something. Like, That's okay. You don't have to put on a face around us. No, yeah, but, like, now it's just like, I got a t-shirt with a goofy video game logo on it or something, jeans, and my hair is a mess. The, yeah, way, I, the way I dress now is the way I've dressed, like, 99% of my life. Same, I'm in a tri-cutting shirt with cargo pants, and I always <laughs> love cargo pants because I love all the pockets for my stupid gadgets. I am in a t-shirt, and, like, th this is this is my getup. T-shirt, either jeans, or some form of short. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, whatever. I always want whatever's comfortable. I don't care how I look. If I'm not comfy, then it ain't worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> Sync up with her. There we go. There. Okay, got you her. got her. I got her. <laughs> She's one of these days, we'll get everybody again. And one of these days. We'll be next time on oh! TFS Play Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Couldn't well, see the clock from here. Wasn't, good. <laughs> wasn't expecting it from Kieran. <laughs> I thought I could trust you. Nope. 
Hey everyone, I promise we're gonna try and limit these grinding episodes. I know there are a few people that wanted to keep them in and we enjoy having them as like a little podcast format that people can listen to. Heard somebody listen to the last one on their way to work and threw up. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I I had to tell the story. I can't not tell a story like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We, we've been having fun just talking, hanging out and being friends. Hope you guys are enjoying hanging out with us too. And you know what? When the Elite Four comes up, it's gonna be a gargantuan event and I hope you all look forward to it. It's gonna be something fun. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Kieran. You all take care.